Hello, this is Claude, and today I'm going to do a quick unboxing and review of the brand new Razer Blade 2016. I ended up buying the 512 gig version with the full HD screen, and I will make a point to compare the new Razer Blade 2016 FHD screen with my Asus UX303LN laptop that has a glossy QHD Plus screen, so it will give users a very good comparison benchmark. First, let me do the quick unboxing. So here's the box that's coming straight from Hong Kong. It uh, you got the tape here of Carry Logistics, and uh, if you look at the open the box, you see a uh, basic box in a box, no padding within that box. So let's go see. Uh, it's just a basic uh, brown box. You got the logo of Razer on top of it. Let's see quickly the uh, the size. What you got it? Razorzone.com. Serial number and information. Uh, for gamers, by gamers, eh? Intel and Thunderbolt. Yeah, that's good. So uh, let's uh, open this baby and see what we got in there. All right, so you see here you got some uh, four... Uh, pads on each corner, so it's kind of styrofoam, not styrofoam, but yeah, some kind of a foam there. Uh, so it's suspended in the air, so actually that's pretty clever. So this way you don't really need the uh, the padding within the other box, so that's pretty good. So uh, let's put this uh, pad, this uh, box on the side. All right, so basically if you look at this, uh, we got a nice black box with the texture on it, the Razer logo on top. You've got the green uh, style on the sides. So uh, let's go see here and what you got in the box. You open the top here, and one of the things we're going to look at inside, you got some padding inside the box. So that's pretty good. That's a good presentation. All right, so you got the uh, Razer logo on the front. It's protected with some kind of plastic, like uh, all cell phones and usual laptops are. So you got the ports, you got the uh, Thunderbolt, you got uh, USB 3 or USB, HDMI, you got two USB as well. I'd have to check if they're USB 3 or 2, I don't remember. Headphone jack and the power. That's what you get in there. Let's go see what you got in the box. All right, so you've got some uh, documentation, like one of my favorite uh, YouTubers says, it's the uh, usual books and shits, that's a flossy Carter. And uh, I like it when he says that. And uh, it usually gets into beast mode where you can't open something. I won't. So um, that's what it is. So uh, welcome to the Cult of Razor. That's what it says in the front. You got some uh, warranty booklets. And you got the little uh, wiping cleaning cloth. And you've got some stickers. So you can troll your friends and show them what you got. So that's uh, what it is in there. Let's go see here. We got the uh, the power brick inside the box is what appears to be the cable. Yeah, so you got the electrical cord in there. So that's what connects to the power brick. And then you got the power brick right there, and you can feel already that the uh, the, the yeah the razor logo is on top. The cable is braided, so it's uh it's just like mice to these uh, gaming mice of that. So it's uh. And then you got some kind of a soft rubber uh, thing to hold it in place. So that's uh, actually uh, a good feature. So if you look at it from the bottom, you got some rubber feet. And then this is in the front, in the back as well. So you got the vents for the fans. So the fans are going to be venting out. So, uh, or maybe venting in. What? And that's the front with the Razer logo on top of it. I'm going to open the the laptop itself. I'm gonna just try to pop it uh, in front of the camera here. So here it is. So you can see the uh, keyboard right there. So as it is, let me try to center it better. There you go. So, all right. So that's the keyboard per se. That's what it looks like. And I'm gonna try to flip this to show the 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 matte FHD display. This is where. So I'm trying to turn it around to show it better. So it's got an aluminum bezel. So that's that's the matte finish. You get the screen, but around the bezel is aluminum. 
So I'm just gonna uh, turn it on, pour it on for the first time, set it up quickly, and uh, come back to show you. All right, we're back. So I've put the uh, side by side the uh, Razer next to my uh, Asus. The Asus got the QHD plus uh, display, glossy display, and on the Razer we got the full HD matte screen. So I will uh, zoom in a little bit on the Asus with the QHD. I assume that's going to be the same thing on the Razer that comes with the QHD plus display. So it's very glossy, it's a uh, mirror-like, there's a lot of reflection. Uh, if you look on the other side, on the Razer, there's no glare at all. So you can see that, and the uh, if you look at the bezel, like I said, it's all aluminum. It's black aluminum, so uh, it's maybe difficult to see, but it, I'm going to try to take it with an angle. But it, it's, uh, it's aluminum. I wasn't sure initially if it was going to be glass all over and with the display but it's all it's it's an aluminum bezel and under it you've got the display uh, on my asus it's the display everything's under glass but on the uh, razor it's aluminum so i really like the screen itself because there's no reflection whatsoever look at the asus the difference it's very glossy and a lot of reflection so if you look at the two screens uh you know that would be the difference if you would look at the difference between a qhd I would look very much like this, all right? And if you look at the mat, that's what it is. So I'm happy that I got the FHD because uh, I'm used to the Asus with the glossy, and it's, it's an issue. And I really like this. So like this, you can really look at it. And for the price of the laptop, for the $300 US difference, it's better with the uh, QHD. All right, let me just comment a little bit on the... Uh, I like the, uh, the touchpad. It's pretty good. Uh, what I don't like is the keys. It's really mushy. Compared to the Asus. So this is, it's just very, very, very soft. So you need to be aware of that. Okay. That's what it is. That's a keyboard. The lights are, I'm gonna put it maximum. Whoops, that's the screen. Maximum brightness is very bright. Actually, it's too bright for me. Look at the Windows key here. It's, it's too bright for me. So I like to, um, to lower it a little bit. <sighs> When it's lower, it's easier to see. It's much better. So that's what it is. All right, CSGO. But harmless bars because I just have one hand. I just want to show here. Running at uh, 200 frame per second. Not too shabby, not too shabby. I listen to the fans. So after paying the big bucks on that computer, the good thing is, is that you can protect it by using a sleeve, using the Amazon basic sleeve. I will put the price in the description or in the link on the video. This is the fit. And it fits real nice. All right, listen to the, the fans. And let's see, a little bit. I'm playing an ar armless bot. 